if I remember March 16, that's when New York City shut down. And then my dad called me and he said, what are you gonna do? I was like, I don't know. He said, you know, this will all pass. But in my head, I was like, okay, this will end. And what do I do in between? The easiest way would be close bad house. And then that's when I first realized it's an identity crisis for me. It's like how much I like this. I love this business, right? Bad House is a co-working space, Monday to Friday, and on the weekend we do events, baby showers, weddings, arts events for the community. It's a place for people to, to be at. Great thing about my, my dad and my mom, they invest in, in, in sending us to learn English. My dad stamped the first approval of things that I was set free to do in, in a way like not a lot of Asian parents would give to their kids. I was, um, you know, handling production, you know, like customers email and then like artists and then we, you know, talk to them, try to make everything smooth. This five years in Griffin Editions was the reason why I was able to start Buy a House, to handle customers at Buy a House. Cody would like work at coffee shops or like public libraries and he would come back and always complain about it. He's like, I can't focus. And one day I was just like, why don't you rent like a space and like find other people like you to like share the cost? He said, oh, that's impossible. And I'm, I'm a, he's, a, he's a thinker, I'm a doer, right? So I'm like, take the idea, I just run, I just run with it. After we signed the lease, um, it was just us. Like we opened the door, we're like, okay, now what? <laughs> it's very raw. And somehow it became a signature of us. People walk in, they're like, this is so rustic. This is what we're looking for. Industrial feeling of Brooklyn. The first challenge was, how do we get people in here and work here? If anyone had talked to us about this and, tell, and told us how difficult it would be for the first year as a small business, we wouldn't have done it. I didn't know how to charge. I look at other venues price list and that's how I learn if I if it's too cheap there's certain reaction if it's too expensive so I will just fine-tuning only solely based on people's reaction and booking rate the goal is always to have a good event very simple right like good event happy event so in a way, my goal and my customers' goals are the same. At the time, it was like, I was anxious. Everyone was anxious, right? Our body just froze up. I stopped drinking for the whole April and maybe May, also June maybe. And I start running 
because the whole summer I was just running every day, right? Like a maniac. So yeah, that's the way to deal with the stress. And look at people work here. Some people still pay through the pandemic. And that's something that I will never able to pay back. Not financial wise, but just that friendship. I just feel like we have to fight for it. We both recognize like this is something we want to hold on to. We're gonna do this. We're keeping this. There's no other way.